breaking news for you right now. There's dramatic new video in Pinellas County that shows a man going on a shooting rampage, firing at his neighbors, a painter, even a deputy. Tonight, we're learning exactly what led up to this violent encounter. This deputy-involved shooting happened Tuesday afternoon, but we're just now discovering what may have set Larry Hode off. Peter Bernard is live at the Pinellas County Jail, where Hode will be booked if he survives. Peter? Jen, with all the bullets flying around on Tuesday, it's a wonder somebody isn't dead. And that includes a Pinellas Sheriff's deputy. And tonight we're finding out an argument about a light in a garage was the tip of the iceberg. That was the straw that broke the camel's back for Hode's landlord. Armed, mad, and on a mission to kill. Security camera video from one of Larry Hode's neighbors catches him unloading nine rounds. The Pinellas County Sheriff tells me the 65-year-old, upset with being evicted, wanted to get back at people Hode believed was responsible for his landlord's decision. First up, Sean Smith, a neighbor who lives next door. He uh, shot Smith um, and struck him. In the back, the bullet went out into the front and caused just massive injuries. Next up, Alan Cameron doing some painting work. Hode missed. The bullet struck the wall and Cameron literally ran for his life. And then it was Dave Foreman's turn, who was in his home office. Hode is seen shooting the door. Later, he shoots Foreman's windshield and on a camera again, catches him shooting a side window. Thankfully for him, his front door was locked because otherwise, Hode would have gone in and shot him and probably killed him. Now the real scary part. Dash cam video shows Sergeant Matthew McLean confronting Hode, now armed with a rifle. Hode fires his handgun three times. Where Sergeant McLean was standing was right between the two bullet holes. Sergeant McLean falls, trying to get to cover, but not before returning fire, hitting Hode. Hode was on a rampage uh, to kill as many people as he could on Tuesday. And another deputy's being called a hero tonight. Jeff Nelson came upon that first victim, took off his uniform top, his undershirt, and his gun belt, and stuffed that t shirt that he had into Smith's wound and held it there all the time, all the way up until the emergency room and into the operating room. Uh, Smith and Hoda right now are in extremely critical condition. Jen? Well, and it's worth mentioning, Peter, this is not the first time deputies have dealt with this guy. No, there's been ongoing feuds in this neighborhood, and it's been going on for a long time. And if you go back into the record, the sheriff tells me that he had exposed himself to children, and so that was part of it as well. So uh, there, uh, he's, a bit, he's also been baker acted. so they've had ongoing issues with Hode. This is just the, the ending of it, hopefully. Peter Bernard, live in Pinellas County for us tonight. Thank you, Peter.